Chapter 4 Season 2 Mega is rolling out now. The update is live. Servers are not up, but the update was able to be downloaded. And obviously, we have a bunch of leaks. Fortnite already released their patch notes. So let's just get right into it. The map changes. This is actually huge. Just a whole brand new biome. We haven't even been on this map for four months, maybe. Uh, it's been about three, and we already have a brand new biome in the corner of the map. We have four new POIs, and the only one that was removed was Faulty Splits, and I think the sacrifice was worth it. We got Mega City, which is a futuristic Neo Tokyo city. We got Steamy Springs, which is going to be your Cherry Blossom area, and then Kenjutsu Crossing and Nadi Nets. Now, we also have an ancient city and a Japanese neighborhood. That could be either one. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, once we get in the game, we'll find out. But yeah, we have a Neo Tokyo City, Cherry Blossom area, ancient city, and Japanese neighborhood. And Japanese neighborhood is going to be basically like a V2 uh, lucky landing, which is kind of cool for anyone that played back in chapter one. I'm going to throw the season key art on screen, although you guys have probably already seen it. They did something weird this season, and they just released a teaser trailer, and then they released a full trailer before the season even started. Uh, I don't think we've seen that before. Maybe they've done it with, I guess, the Chapter 4 original map because the trailer released right after the event. But other than that, I think the last time they did that was Season X. They released the full trailer the day before it launched. We don't see this a lot. I don't know if this is going to be a thing that they do going forward. But anyway, moving on to the Battle Pass. It looks pretty cool and it's actually like a themed Battle Pass. Recently, the Battle Pass has been kind of random. I mean, last season we did have the Geno, which was kind of a night skin. And then we had Geralt from The Witcher and that kind of fit the theme. But this goes even harder into the futuristic Japanese theme. You see we have a Drift remix, which is kind of cool. And the Attack on Titan, I think it's Eren Jaeger collab skin. I know nothing about Attack on Titan, okay? I'm just going to say that right now. Now, I think there was a mythic that people were talking about in trailers called ODM Gear. I don't know what that is or what that means, to be honest, but from what we can see based on the leaks, it's not in-game yet. So, expected to come out next update, probably, um, like what they did with the Spider-Man mythics. That was not in-game as soon as the game launched. It came out about a week later. Um, the Deku Smash mythic, that came out the second update of the season. So, we can expect that very soon, but it's not in the files right now. Moving on to all of our weapons, items, and vehicles. We'll start with the vehicles, the Rogue Bike. Um, it just seems like a futuristic reskin motorcycle, if I'm being honest, but we'll see. Uh, Epic says it features high acceleration, sharp turning, and a boost-ready engine. It just seems like a motorcycle with a boost feature. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. It could be a little bit faster. I think the motorcycle had pretty sharp turning already, or at least you could stop it pretty quickly and then turn it. I don't know. Excited to play with this. And this is going to be our only option because motorcycles have been vaulted next we have the nitro drifter looks like a futuristic car it does have a drift mechanic so if you guys remember the atk this is probably going to be even more polished and better than that and as i said motorcycles gone boats are vaulted as well and chonker tire and cow catcher mods have been vaulted you can still use normal cars they just can't be modded and then we have the new nitro drifter car so gonna be interesting got a bunch of new weapons starting off the kinetic blade acquire one of these katanas and perform the artful knockback slash not holding back show no mercy and perform the devastating dash attack the dash attack has three charges that enter a cooldown upon use kind of excited to see how that plays out uh, a lot of these weapons you can't really get a feel for them just reading the description you kind of just have to go in game and see what it is I don't know, this might be like the shockwave hammer of this season. It might just be like some crazy OP item. We'll have to see. Havoc suppressed AR, a silenced, highly accurate, and fully automatic. And there is going to be a mythic version of this AR. Havoc pump shotgun, high damage shotgun, mythic version that you can get from vaults. From what I read, I think the max headshot is going to be 190. Um, no matter how powerful Epic makes these shotguns, they have a headshot max. I don't know if we'll ever see one pumps return, um, but they did nerf snipers a while back and then they buffed them again and allowed them to one shot. So maybe Epic will change their mind on that. I don't know, but they keep on just doing these different versions of the pump that are not able to one shot. So who really cares? I don't know. We have the overclocked pulse rifle, which is going to be a mythic pulse rifle from a rifted POI. They said, that's all they said. Rifted POI, maybe Loot Lake, you can see that being rifted in in the trailer. And I'm going to throw this image up on your screen, the stats of these weapons. Uh, it's kind of hard to read, and also the colors are completely off. I, every time Epic releases a seasonal update, something always goes weird in the files. They change something, and then the leakers' formats get messed up. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys want to take a look at this possible new tactical AR variants, maybe that's gray green. I don't know. As I said, the colors are messed up. And then I think we have a gray combat shotgun as well. We have a bunch of unvaults this season, the heavy sniper, Cobra DMR, which sucks, but whatever. Dragon's Breath Sniper, Combat Shotgun. So it's going to be Floor Loot now instead of just from an augment. And then, as I said, we should have a new gray variant of it, plus the green variant that we got from Chapter 3 Season 8. I don't think a lot of people remember that. But yeah, that was in the game for like a month, and then we went into Chapter 3. And then all the heisted exotics are back, which is really good. Those weapons were sick. The Run and Gun SMG, one of my favorite weapons of all time. We have a slurp juice change. It's now legendary rarity. They say it restores a lot of health and shield fast. It restores health and shield at the same time. Find it from key card requiring vaults, a POI rifting in, or combat catches, which I think combat catches is going to be an augment. We have some returning weapons from season one. That's going to be the Maven shotgun, red eye AR, twin mag SMG, tactical pistol, and chug cannon. If you didn't hear a weapon, it's vaulted. Scar from Oz, Heavy Shotgun, Thunder Shotgun, Rocket Launcher. I think the Shockwave Hammer, it should all be vaulted. You will not be able to find it this season. And then just a bunch of random vaults, uh, Snowballs, which I, I honestly have never seen them in game. Uh, I didn't even really know that you could make them. I, I remember reading it in the patch notes for a video, and then I had no idea how to do it. So, But I can't do it anymore because they're gone. Boars, wolves, crows, and frogs are gone. Not chickens, though. So our only wildlife on the map is chicken. Reality augment containers can be found during a match to unlock high-end perks. And we have some upcoming augments. You're not going to get a lot just from looking at the picture or reading the name of it. But some of them are kind of obvious as to what they are. So we can see an augment that will probably give you a charge shotgun and a flint knock. You can see one with a silenced pistol and a flare gun a pizza and a chug splash and then we have an easter egg augment that's probably going to come out soon for whatever easter event they do this year and in terms of skins uh the starter pack and save the world pack are coming soon that already got leaked if you guys have been keeping up i'm uh, not keeping up with my channel because i have not been posting but i promise i will this season okay but the starter pack and save the world pack these are not new but just a reminder they're coming out probably this week we have a new mech pilot bundle which looks all right. They do have an unmasked variant as well. And then we have a new Resident Evil collab, two different skins. So uh, this is the second Resident Evil collab we've had. I never played the game, to be honest, not that interested in this collab, but we will be getting a new Star Wars collab soon that I'm going to be pretty hyped for because I think it should be Anakin Skywalker. So that's going to be sick. And then our season two win umbrella, it actually looks pretty cool. It's kind of it reminds me of the season nine umbrella. Obviously, you have the Cherry Blossom vibe to it now with the futuristic stuff. It's pretty cool. And that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to be recording the Battle Pass as soon as it goes live. We're just waiting for servers to go up. The update is out. It's downloaded. The servers have been down for about four and a half hours now. And I'm just going to be patiently waiting. Um, guys, I will be posting a lot more on this channel. I took a break in Season 1 just because I got really busy with work. And also, the season just kind of sucked. Like, I was barely playing. I came back for the heist event, which was actually pretty fun. Other than that, I did not enjoy the season at all. But I think this season has a lot of potential. It looks really good so far. Uh, so expect a lot more videos from me. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.